YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and week one of the regular season it's officially here it officially started it's real now no more preseason no more speculation on what's gonna happen because it's happening now and it started off of course with the Bills and the Rams tonight with the Bills just the, the game started off close it started off like oh, okay this, this is gonna be a close one going into halftime it's 10 10 it's like oh, okay let's go then it got ugly then it got really nasty. Really nasty. Um, start off with the Bills. Uh, Josh Allen, he started off hot. He started off on fire. And one thing that I always appreciate about the Bills offense is that they always get so many different people involved in the offense. So many different receivers, tight ends, running backs. They, they keep everybody involved. And when you do that, that makes your offense that much harder to defend and there was a statistic and I, did this last for the whole game I know it lasted like late into the third quarter but it was a statistic that said oh the, the Rams haven't forced a Bills punt all game yet and I, I don't remember if that stood or not I don't remember seeing a Bills punt but I also don't I, I'm not sure but anyway uh, I mean you look at the score I don't think they really needed to or cared if they punted or not but um back to Josh Allen oh man Josh Allen this game was it was up and down for him. Obviously, more highs than lows. Um, the deep ball is, is is just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, and it's crazy. I remember that deep ball to Gabe Davis, um, where he was one on one. I forgot which corner it was, but that that deep ball to him. It, Josh Allen just went choop. That's it. It went choop. It's like he ain't even do a full throwing motion. He just went choop, and that ball goes. A million yards downfield and it ended up being in a perfect spot initially I thought it was a bad throw and it wasn't the best throw but it put Gabe Davis in a position where he could adjust to the ball and he did a great job of that and he made the play and then of course he caught that first touchdown of the game um, and Gabe Davis I remember seeing something I think I saw it on Twitter where somebody mentioned hey Gabe Davis is going to show that he is also a number one wide receiver Josh Allen's going to have two number one wide receivers and I remember seeing that, and I was like, okay, yeah, I remember he showed that in the playoffs. And last year, he was a nice little supplemental receiver for the, uh, for the Bills. Um, but uh, number one guy, uh, I don't know. Uh, they shut me up tonight. He, he showed up just like a number one receiver does. But then the guy who we definitely know is the Bills' number one receiver, Stephon Diggs. He's like that, man. He is like that. Um, my favorite catch from him, I don't remember if it was like a, a comeback route or what, but... He was matched up with Jalen Ramsey. He, ooh, he, he was working Jalen Ramsey tonight. Ooh, he was working Jalen Ramsey. But, or maybe it was a back shoulder throw. I don't, remember, I don't remember what it was, but Josh Allen, it was the perfect pass, and Jalen Ramsey was like right there, but Stephon Diggs still caught it and got some yak too. That boy is nice, man. He, he is nice. I know Josh Allen is so grateful for Stephon Diggs because Stephon Diggs literally turned Josh Allen's career around. And again, that's what you want to do. These two teams, the Bills and the Rams, they do an excellent job of roster building. They do such a great job of it. And it showed, well, at least for the Bills, tonight. Um, so, again, with the Bills, though, Josh Allen, I think he, was, he ended up being their lead in Russia. Um, but he, he was taking a lot of hits. He was taking a lot of hits. I ain't no commentators complaining about it, though. But Josh Allen was taking a lot of, like, not tackles. Not tackles, not pushed out of bounds. No, no, no. He was taking a lot of hits. And I was thinking, oh, okay now. All right, Josh. Be careful out there, buddy. We know you got your money already, but still, hey, you want to have your career too, right? But, nah, Josh, Josh Allen is nice, though. Um, for his, uh, the interceptions. Um, the interceptions that he threw, which was one. Oh, one of them was to the running back. And when I watched it live, I was thinking, oh, yeah, that's, that's on the running back. The running back just dropped it. But I know there are some people that say that Josh Allen didn't put it uh, in a good spot. So I guess I, I had to watch it over again to really, like, see. But um, that was one of them. And the other one, oh, the, the one that Troy Hill caught. Um, and that, that, was, that was Josh Allen all day. That, that was all on him. Um, but then he, of course, he made up for it. Uh, with the touchdowns, the big play, and again, the, with the, the Stephon Diggs touchdown, the super deep ball uh, over Jalen Ramsey. It looked like Jalen Ramsey let him go by because it looked like Jalen Ramsey was expecting the safety to be over the top, but 
<laughs> he looked back and, and it's like when, when he saw Stefan Diggs go by, by and he looked back and realized there was no safety. Well, he started hitting. He's like, oh, man, I got to try to catch up. But it was too little too late. Um, so, yeah, this was a, a good game. And, and Bills on defense. Boy, um, we talked about roster building. We know Rams, they are ultra aggressive when it comes to building their roster. And we know they say forget them draft picks and all this and all that. Uh, and it's led them to a lot of success and then more, most recently a Super Bowl. Um, but the Bills, they also do a phenomenal job of building their roster. Now, they keep their draft picks now. But they are not afraid to add talent at different positions. And they are not afraid to make strengths stronger. Von Miller. They spent a lot of money on And I know a lot of people Question the contract And they're like For how long? For him? For what? And I was one of those people But he shut me All the way up That boy Von Miller Was a beast tonight He was, he was phenomenal tonight That man showed out man. He, he showed out And he, he was showing Like hey uh, This is why they paid me All of that bread And I know the contract Isn't everything that it seems to be But still uh, Yeah he Well worth it well worth it After games like he was having tonight And see with Von Miller The thing about that The thing about having a really good pass rusher They not only uh, Give you good production Because I think what he had Two two sacks tonight But they help everybody around them too They make everybody else around them job easier Because so much attention goes on them And they didn't, not even an attention But you got somebody like Von Miller Obviously going to be a Hall of Famer so the respect that he commands in the locker room, guys are going to see him. They're going to see his work ethic. They're going to see his resume. They're going to be like, wow, I want a resume like that. I want to try to be a, as good as him, if not better, one day. So that's going to make them step up their game in practice, in games and whatnot. So it just has a great impact. When you have great players, it has a great impact on the whole team. And Von Miller, he is one of them dudes. Uh, they were all over Matt Stafford all night tonight. And speaking of Matt Stafford... Let's talk about them Rams. Oof, Matt Stafford. This, oof, this is this game. This game was nasty. It was nasty. Now that was a beautiful uh, throw and tippy toe catch by uh, Stafford to Cooper Cup in the back of the end zone. That that was beautiful. But it, it, there weren't there wasn't much beauty tonight uh, with the Rams passing game. Now, um, Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson. He, he got. A, and I, I don't know. I know it's one game. But where was he? Where, where was Allen Robinson? And it's like, man, you there's, a, there's some numbers that if you're going to wear these numbers on your jersey, boy, you got to show out. You got to show out. And number one and number 99, those are definitely two of those numbers. There are more. Like there's number two, there's number four, there's number eight. I guess really any single digit number. But definitely number one and number 99, you got to show out. He didn't even show up. I didn't see him. And I don't know if it was more Matt Stafford's fault for not giving him an opportunity. I don't know if it was his fault for lack of separation and getting open. I don't know what it was. But I don't remember hearing his name called at all. When they showed a couple of replays, I saw him walking across the screen a couple of times. But I, I don't remember him getting any action at all. You know what? Let me actually check the box score to see if he had any catches at all. Oh, okay. He had one catch for 12 yards. And he, he, he was targeted twice. Okay, I ain't even realize that. I ain't even realize that. Cooper Cup, he had a regular Cooper Cup night. 13 catches for 128 yards. You, you know how it goes. But back to Matt Stafford. Mm. <laughs> Matt Stafford with those interceptions. Ooh, ugly interceptions. Now, the first one, um, what was the first one? Uh, oh, I think it was to number 30 on the Bills. Uh, and I think I think he be may, may have slipped or something like that. I don't even remember what happened, but that was the first interception. But where the cornerback got ruled down, but then he got up celebrating and all that and running to the other end zone. And he was hyped. He's like, well, I just picked off the Super Bowl champion, Matt Stafford. But then the next one, it's like they, they just got progressively worse. Uh, the next one was to Cooper Cup. With Sta Stafford, I, I said, Staff okay, Stafford, we get We know you like the whole no look passes and all it was a no-look pass because when they showed the replay, his eyes were looking this way and the ball was going that way. I think he probably should have looked. He probably should have looked at that one uh, because he threw it. And it was a little bit high. It wasn't like crazy, high, but it was high enough. Cooper Cup tried to reach up and get it, but he tipped it. And I think it was Jordan Poyer. He's like, oh, this, me? This is for me? Oh, perfect. Give me that. And easy interception. Easy interception. Um, and then the third one uh, where Basham... Basham, it looked like he was going to rush, but 
But then he just stopped and he waited, waited, waited. And Matt Stafford threw the ball and he threw it low enough. Basham put his hands up, knocked the ball up in the air. And then he was like, oh, is this for me? Is this mine? Really? It's raining footballs here in, in, in uh, L.A.? And it came right to him. I thought it was going to be a pick six. But Matt Stafford was like, hold up now. I, I can't let you get that one off then. And he ended up, he, maybe Matt Stafford should play safety too. Maybe he should Maybe he should play safety because he, he made a nice little tackle on Basham. He's like, you ain't about to pick six me. Not tonight, man. Maybe another time, but not tonight. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it was a rough game for him. Um, yeah, man, so th- a lot of people uh, feel like these two teams could be uh, Super Bowl favorites. Of course, it's still super early. We know week one. Um, there's going to be a lot of overreaction no matter in, in, in every game, no matter which way some games go. It's going to be a lot of overreaction. But now it's up to these teams to in every every team moving forward, uh, going in the week one. And then, of course, after week one to, to show their consistency, show what they're good at, show what they're great at, show what they're bad at, show what they need to improve. And, and it's just all about getting to know the team because we don't know these teams yet. Like the Bills, they came out. They dog walk the Rams. They can come out next week and get dog walked themselves. Rams came out this week looking bad. They could go out next week and look like Super Bowl champs. So I think you really get to know a team after about mm, probably about four weeks, maybe like four or five weeks. You really get to know a team. You got enough stats accumulated and stuff. You got enough uh, practices and, and repetition at different th- things that they do. You see all of that. But right now it's super early. But this is a great start for the Bills. Great start for the Bills. Not so great start uh, for the Rams. But again, it's just week one. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. We are finished reviewing this Bills and Rams game. Appreciate y'all watching this recap. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's Team, keep it clean. It's a channel for everybody. What, no matter what team you're a fan of. We have a good time on here talking football. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. And we out. Thank you for watching.